Hey guys, Sean here from SRK Cycles and Bikes and Beards. This happens fairly frequently where someone, not fairly frequently, it happens every once in a while, a little nerve wracking. Someone is driving up, it's one of the farthest people, someone's driving two days, it's legit, I looked it up on the thing, it's two days away to get here, to buy a bike from us, and then, the tra and then they're trading a bike. We currently don't trade bikes that we have to ship, but we are working on that process. So this guy's coming up. For us, you know, we have to make sure that the bike is 100%, like obviously it, it, if they drive that far, it's gotta be perfect. You've seen some of our other videos where we go out of our way to make sure <laughs> that, you know, they're not disappointed and we always do that. This guy actually, I think he bought a bike from us before. So uh, this is happening tomorrow. I'm not gonna be here. Hopefully everything works out well. I'm, the, the guys are very qualified, it'll be fine. But let's see what happens when you drive over two days to buy and trade a bike from us. Let's go. Let's go. This is my yeah. man Jamie. Jamie, where were you guys from in Minnesota? Minnesota. We're from Sturgeon Lake. Sturgeon Lake, so 1,200 miles. So, how long was that trip? Uh, it was two days. It was two 12-hour days driving. Wow. So. And you bought you bought a bike from us earlier this year. Earlier this year, right? Yeah, about a year ago almost. It was a '98 Electric Glide. So. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, the was that the green one? No, it was the same color as this. I like this color. Two yeah. That's awesome, man. Days. So you think you say like? I think how much we money you didn't save anything. Yeah, I was gonna say how much money the gas toll, did you spend? Well, the gas, just the tolls alone, I think we paid what was a hundred and sixty. Yeah. Wow. Just in tolls because they charge us as a semi because. Oh, because you have you a got, trailer. Yeah. Ah. Uh. So one of them, the most expensive was like fifty bucks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. So. Dang, but it looks good. Oh yeah. And Buzz is by. Did you watch the Buzz video? I didn't watch the Buzz video. You didn't watch the, the Buzz video. That you did, no. I bought a sport bike and traded this in. Huh. And it's in phenomenal shape. Yeah, I love these things. They're yeah. great bikes. Yeah, there's two bikes I wish I still had it. The first bike was a 69 Honda 50. And then I had a 83 CB1000, a Honda. Okay. That had like the dual range transmission and right. stuff. Man. Oh, I like, you guys. Feel just, free to sit on and fire yeah. it up, man. You guys are awesome. So. Like he said, there was three inches of snow, and he's out riding his dirt <laughs> bike in the snow. <laughs> just, like a, so just like a big kid. Yeah, yeah, he takes every chance he can. That's, That's awesome. awesome. When he said he was buying another bike, I'm not, I was like, I'm thinking, like, you're from Minnesota. I'm like, yeah. Two bikes, how often do you even get to ride one? Right. Which is crazy. But I mean, hey, that's awesome. That's Well, that's... The, the other one is basically for us to go right. riding. Yeah, it's cool. And then his dirt bike is because we own 40 acres. So then oh, he just oh, yeah, he awesome. goes wherever. And then this one is just for him to get on and go oh. or, yeah. So. That's awesome. How's it feel? It's great. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. <laughs> Looks good though? Yeah, rides good. Do you, play, do, you do the horn? You oh, the horn? The horn. Yeah, you gotta try it, dude. It's awesome. <laughs> so I guess we'll get your, your bike off. Okay. I can help you load this one. The this amount of people that wanted to buy this bike too, right after you bought it. Really? Oh my gosh, yeah. This is just it's a super clean you yeah. know, super clean low rider. Yeah. Let's see this TW. Yeah. This thing is like brand Oh, that thing's yeah. sweet. I don't have your fancy tanksters. Oh, you're <laughs> killing me, man. <laughs> well, because you, you, how many did you have to use, though? Like 12 of them. Yeah. <laughs> That's a cool little bike. <laughs> These little TWs are great. That's awesome. That's some knobby fat tires, man. Yeah. <laughs> Do they come with those tires? Yeah. Yep, that's how it comes, yeah. Man. That's how it goes. He's a man. He's a cool guy, he's a man. Hey, what color straps do you want? We'll throw some in for free. What color you got? Uh, we got we got the blue. It's like uh like kind of like a light blue, um and then we have a uh, gray. What color you want? Gray. Gray. gray? Cool. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool, man. Here you go, dude. Oh, thank you. Yeah, man. That's no problem. awesome. Yeah. yeah. We can uh, we can go wrap it up if you want. Okay. Yep. And then once we're done wrapping it up, it'll take five minutes and we're done wrapping it up. I'll help you load the bike up and okay. we'll get her strapped down. It's gonna be cool. like when I die. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna say, "Hey, hey, Jamie, come here. Walking us, <laughs> you can ride whatever you want." <laughs> you got it. Wow. If you're going the whole way back to Minnesota, you have yes. to have tank straps. Yeah, for sure. Yes. <laughs> How's that? That looks good. Oh, that piece ain't going nowhere. Awesome. Dang. Well, enjoy the bike, sir. Oh, I will. 
This was great. Man. Thanks so much for coming yeah. out. The whole cool. thing. It was nice meeting you, man. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it was nice meeting you. Nice and, uh, meeting you too. If you anything or have any questions or anything, just call me or text me. Okay. I'm Thank you. Going, guys. Right, cool. guys. See ya. Jamie's a man. What a great bike. Yeah, I think it's sweet. Yo, is it cool if I, am I allowed to film my own? For the KL Mail YouTube channel? Absolutely. Yeah. I should be asking you if I can film. Dang, that thing's clean. Yeah, that jigs are sick. All right, so we got. Uh, I may have. I may have bought like three more things. ST 1300, 2010. I don't know. 2010 ST 1300. All right, no joke. The prettiest uh, M50 I've ever seen. Pearl white, beautiful. That's a real nice uh, V Star 950. Come over back to the back. The cleanest Suzuki Mirada you've ever seen. Oh, Come over here, the biggest mistake I've made the entire day. Victory <laughs> So all these bikes are tied on with two tie-down straps except for that one hanging off the fender, which is four. Why, did you forget? Tank did you get straps? Tank no, straps. straps, buy more tank oh. straps. No, I had all the straps, but oh, check okay. this out. All right, so I'm up talking to Caleb. I'm doing something else, some complaining some other place. I walk up, the ladies, have, they're at this bike. They got the number 4,300 bucks. Only thing is like, last offer, last offer, last offer. I'm like, all right, I'll take it. And uh, so I got it for 45, and then I look at it, and I'm like, there's no speedometer on it. <laughs> GMU! It's, 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 it's true mileage unknown. The guy who was bidding against me came, came up and told me, he's like, dude, that's a brand new bike. The, the nipples on the top of the tires are showing. Look, like, you can see like these, yeah, look. Wait, look. so is it actually brand new? And somebody just took off the Speedo? I don't know. But wait, why was it the biggest mistake? Because you didn't know you it's were- It's got no Speedo. Oh. I gotta put a Speedo on, so now the bike's the TMU. You know. So we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with that. How we're gonna, I'm super pumped, I mean, that's the Octane. The Octane's a cool bike. Right there, B-King. That thing's crazy clean. I got another B-King. And then this was an interesting bike right here. What year is this? 2013. Wow. It is crazy clean. Yeah. I had this little, not a theory, <laughs> science project where what I wanted to see was because normally bikes like this did just do crazy money. And I'm like, oh man, it's way above the number I want to pay. So I decided I'm going to pay whatever I have to pay to get this bike. I don't care what it costs. I'm going to pay it and sell it for market value. See if I can make money on it. So we paid $13,000 for it. <laughs> 61, 6100 bucks. It is the cleanest bike you've ever seen. Okay. I mean, look how clean the wheel. No, 2013, 2013, it's got like 1800 miles. It is a beautiful bike. I love the it's it's the perfect color scheme everything man it's, it's gorgeous so I was I was, sta I was standing there there's a bunch of bikes that that were gonna come up in a little bit but I didn't get a chance to I wasn't gonna buy anything at that moment none of none of the bikes are on my list so I see one of their auction things with with the door open I'm like why is the door open and who are they auctioning to so I walk up there and they're auctioning the jet skis oh so I walk up and I'm like all right I'm gonna look at the jet skis I'll tell the guys what they're doing because it's interesting and then I look over yonder. And I see what we went into being a 2018. It's this or is this camper? This tow behind camper. And I'm like, oh shoot, it's, it's coming up next. So I walk in. It's super nice. 2018. It's a one, a 189R retro. Mm. Super cool. Looks all classic retro. It's not like a. It's not like an Airstream where it's all smooth. You know, a little different. I jump on my phone. I'm like, oh, I got like brand new. They're doing like 22,000 bucks. I call Caleb. He jumps on his phone. I'm like, well, I, I, at less than ten, I can't go wrong. I'm the highest bidder at six thousand bucks. Now they don't. It's a, it's a bank owns it, so a bank owns. Mm. So we're gonna see what actually is gonna happen. They came back to me with a counter. I'm gonna counter them. I, I like that. Like the people that work for us at the auction, I like that. Like them to work for their money. Right. You know what I mean? Get it done, bro. <laughs> get it done. Right. Get whatever you gotta do. Get me that thing at the price. They're like, hey, you want you want a bunch of hundred bucks? I'm like, nope. Get it done. So I, I hung around for an extra like 45 minutes because the one thing that I was gonna buy, I was like, I need this thing, was one of these, a Coleman Drift Strike. Oh yeah, how much was that? It's got a little Coleman engine on the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got these like, like yeah, they're plastic, plastic things can, on top. A lot top, of people build them, yeah. On top of the wheels. And I was like, that'd be awesome, that'd be a great video. I, was like, I, would, I would love driving it. Would you drift it all over the place? On Amazon, they're 1100 Fifty-four dollars and eighty-eight cents. There's seven in stock. Free shipping. I was. I thought it was gonna be at the end. It was apparently at the very beginning. It was the first thing I sold. And I missed it. I asked him how much it sold for. It did nine hundred dollars. 
Okay, so at 900 bucks yeah. plus $200 in fees. Yeah, you're now at the same price. You're paying brand new price. Yeah. Part of me thinks like, I was gonna buy it right there. Do I have to buy a new one? No, because I wanted the deal. I wanted, yeah. the, good, I wanted the deal. Oh, this is a nice bike, man. Yeah, this thing's sick. This thing even has those things that like old people put on their mirrors. So the blind spot. Why do you need that? <laughs> There's no reason for that on your bike. Check it out. 1,800 miles. don't know about the Beat King, this is a Hayabusa powered motorcycle. This is the street, this is a Hayabusa street fighter. And yo, it even has a little rocket launcher. Yeah. Remember that's what they call it? Shoots yeah. missiles and stuff. Yo, I hit three miles an hour going backwards. Yo, are we going to cover Chris's bike's back? It was like an hour and a half worth of labor. Are oh, we going to cover that? The bike we gave to Chris. Yeah. The guy named Chris that we gave the bike to. Correct. Yeah. The I didn't I didn't say anything to him. I just told him his bike was done. Oh, yeah. We'll fix it. Okay. I mean, it was probably our fault. <laughs> it's always our fault. <laughs> Somehow it's always our fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. What, what, what was the issue with it? Uh, it was the... I guess it was like some electronics or whatever. It was like screwed up for the for the for the dash whatever Craig can explain it but I guess it was like screwed up and the wiring was loose so about an hour and a half he sorted it all out got it all ready to rock. So I guess the oil pressure line was coming on because of that and I guess the I guess like Chris left the the battery on and so he thought once he recharged the battery and the oil pressure light was still coming on he thought that like the being goofy when it started was due to that. It must just probably was just due to the Battery not being fully charged. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. Cool. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take it for a spin and give it back to him and bam. Yo. Sick. It's like we'll make a whole other video. Giving away a free bike a second time. <laughs> right. Every time we give the bike back to him, it's like giving away a free bike. <laughs> Again. We like surprise him. <laughs> <laughs> we get his family in. We have like his like, extended family all coming in. His local like communities all coming in. Like all right, so here's the scoop. I just got a call from my rep over at the auction. I was the highest bidder for that camper at 6,000 or 6,100 bucks. They came back like, no, no, the, like the the reserve is like 10.5. They said they can do 85. I'm like, no, I'll do seven. They won't budge on seven. This is the second time that camper's been there. Last time it did $5,000. So I'll just buy it next time for seven. Maybe they'll get the, the picture that's not worth that much. Honestly, if they, if they held out till springtime, maybe they'd get more money. I don't know. Uh, the Ducati Multistrada that we bought, we bought a really, really nice white 2012 Ducati Multistrada, the regular one, not the S, not the Pikes Peak. I got that one for, I was a high speeder at $6,000. They wanted like 85 or something crazy. Uh, it had super low miles, really nice bike. Uh, they denied that one, we're not getting that one. There's also a, C, a C90 that I, I mean, look, I think we didn't get it. I don't know, they're gonna get back to me on the C90. We'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. We got more bikes to buy. We got a lot of work to do.